How would you feel about someone with elevated LP little a taking aspirin? And uh, my thoughts on that changed this year. Now, when I was in practice for years, if you had LP little a, the whole etiology, oh, it's a prothrombotic protein. So, hey, take aspirin. Why not? If there's some excess coagulation going on, maybe aspirin can help it. And we even now know that they could activate platelets. We didn't know that back then, LP little a. So aspirin always made a lot of sense. There was a study, first the women's health study, that came out about 10 years ago in postmenopause women that if they had a certain SNP associated with LP little a, they had dramatic reductions in MACE by using aspirin. But if you didn't have that SNP, aspirin did nothing to preventing events in women. So that was a hypothesis. Now, a couple of years ago, out of the ASPRI study, which was looking at aspirin in elderly people, they saw the same damn thing. That, and they investigated this particular SNP on the premise that if it worked for postmenopausal women with this SNP, maybe it'll work for elderly people with it or so. And indeed it did. So there is evidence that if you have this LP little a aspirin, Aspirin SNP, aspirin is probably well indicated for you. Now, a few months ago, just was published the NASA study. We all know the multi-ethnic study of atherosclerosis is a whole bunch of people of different ethnicities where they're looking at all sorts of things, especially cardiovascular risk factors. And lo and behold, people with an LP little a above 50 milligrams per deciliter had a dramatic 30 to 40 percent reduction by aspirin use, unless there's a reason not not to use aspirin, of course, or if you suddenly start the aspirin and it bothers your stomach or you start bruising or something. But that MESA study is pretty impressive. 